Now I want to talk about the different summarize options that are available within pivot tables, such as um, a, a running total, or which would be like a year-to-date total, or something like a variance. So let's do this by first. Um, I'm going to drag. I already have my revenue in my pivot table. I'm going to drag my revenue in again. Notice how I have two revenue columns here now. Um, I'm going to now uh, rename this to be year-to-date revenue. And so what I'm going to do here is basically get the year-to-date revenue by quarter. So we can see the actual revenue um, in the quarter, and then we can see the year-to-date as we proceed along the year. Now I have this revenue column in here, and so now I'm going to right-click it. And I'm going to do, I'm going to choose um, summarize values by. I'm going to choose more options. And here I'm going to click on show value as. And then we're going to choose running total. And then now it's going to know, it's going to ask what my base field and base item is. I'm going to choose date. Click OK. And now you can see um, here, let's format this uh, to make this look good. Build settings, number format, currency. OK. OK. okay you can see the first quarter, my year to date value um, is exactly the same as Q1. But then in Q2, it's added the previous quarter. Same with Q3 and Q4. So it makes a nice way to, uh, to get my uh, year-to-date values by quarter. So let's say maybe now we want to get the variance. So we want to know how our revenue is changing by quarter. Is our revenue going up or is it going down? Let's add our uh, the revenue column into the data area again. And then I'm going to call this variance. And then now, uh, again, let me go ahead and um, format this. Now I'm going to right click it, show, oops, summarize, more options, show value as, and let's find variance. Or actually it's, it, I'm calling it variance, but it's, it's difference from, so we're, the difference from a, a prior column, which is essentially the variance. And then um, the base field, again, we want to choose date. And then the base item is previous because we want the various from the previous column. So notice how there's no variance for Q1. Uh, for Q2, our, our revenue went up by $1,400. For Q3, our it changed and went down by $361. In Q4, it went down as well by $1,500. So there's just different different and various ways to um, show um, the data as it changes from column to column um, to, to essentially um, basically um, summarize your, your data in different ways, not just with a sum or count or average, um, but to actually on the fly uh, show um, different calculations. This would take um, a lot of um, hand calculations if you had to do this on your own or, or put in formulas, but the pivot table does this very nicely with, with very little effort.